Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we're going to discuss how to find the right keywords for your content marketing efforts. Broadcasting from Hotlanta, Georgia. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to our Internet Marketing Pro and eZineGenerator.com podcast show. Our shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurs, and preeminent professional internet marketers. Thank you for tuning into our show as we begin this adventure to exploring everything great that the internet has to offer as far as internet marketing is concerned. Keyword research is a critical piece of creating an effective content strategy. And by using the right keywords, you'll increase the visibility of your content and drive even more traffic to your website. But how do you find the best keywords for your audience? Well, there are a number of great tools available for both the novice and expert search engine optimizers to use that can make the process of researching keyword phrases easier and more effective. How should you use these types of tools to create your content strategy? Hmm. Well, why does knowing how many searches there are for a specific keyword or phrase help you outline your blog? Well, you should obviously begin by starting to brainstorm a list of possible keywords. And before you can start monitoring conversations, I mean, I would say start monitoring conversations and doing keyword research. That way that you will be able to find out what the hot words and keywords are that your peers are using that would be most likely used in maybe a search context and being able to optimize the possibility of your particular content being seen. So here are a couple ideas that you should keep in mind when doing so. You know, as internet marketers, we tend to get stuck inside our own industry's jargon. What you and your colleagues think of as keywords may not necessarily be what your prospective customers are using when they perform their searches. So think about topics that interest your audience in general, those that both directly or indirectly relate to your business. You know, most people are looking for knowledge to address their concerns, so it's helpful to look at, you know, a search request as a question. If you can provide useful answers to them, you'll soon find that the likelihood that these visitors will become customers or clients will increase greatly. So my next point I'd like to use is use social media to monitor those conversations and get keyword ideas. You know, one effective way to get down to the street level, you know, and understand what's going on is... um, to become active in a variety of social media tools and communities. And a good place to start is to use Twitter search function. And by putting in, say, a specific topic or a a keyword concept that you are focusing on and see how your customer is talking about the concept. You can also use socialmention.com to peek at related conversations across multiple social media channels all at once. You know, monitoring social media for topics that interest your audience has two advantages. And one would be if you're paying attention to what is being said around some of the topics and concepts that directly and indirectly relate to your business, you know, you're more likely to become aware of the subtle differences in how your intended customer might phrase a search request. As mentioned, folks don't know the jargon and industry vocabulary that you do or your coworkers do. And, you know, obviously you take it for granted that they do and they don't. As I mentioned earlier, but it's so important that it's worth repeating, when developing your content strategy, if you focus on insider language, you're not really going to be able to take advantage or full advantage of the traffic that could be generated for your site for free and by search engines. You know, you can also get immediate insights into trending topics affecting your business. And by understanding what's going on in the conversations of potential customers, you can develop rich answers to their most pressing questions. So, you know, the use of the right tools for SEO keyword research, you know, I would say is, you know, as you grasp what is really being asked online about your business and its offerings, you can use any number of free and low cost online tools to enhance your strategy for developing and promoting content on your website. The first one I would look at is Google Wonder Wheel. This is a great place to start to compile your initial keywords for further evaluation. It's simple. Just type in your basic search and see a number of possible keywords that Google thinks are related to the search term you entered. To see a more robust list of possible search terms that Google thinks are related to your original search query, select related searches in the left-hand column. Another great tool is AdWords Keyword Tool understanding which keyword phrases are being searched most while having 
the least amount of competition greatly enhances your ability to produce content that can satisfy those seeking answers to their questions. Finding this information can be done quickly and simply by using AdWords keyword tool. You'll want to determine which keyword terms have the highest search volume with the most specific or long tail wording related to your topic. And also you can use SEO Moz, and that's S-E-O-M-O-Z, keyword difficulty tool. And this uh, gets a more accurate idea of where the competition is in an organic search rather than using only the pay-per-click model as AdWords does. So take a note that uh, you know, a subscription is required for SEO Moz, but it's well worth it because you definitely have a, a little bit more of a perspective and a competitive advantage of someone who doesn't. So here, you'll want to obviously organize your keyword research once you come up with it. And I find it helpful to lay it out in a spreadsheet and compare the data all at once so you can see the lay of the field. You know, I suggest creating a new spreadsheet each time that you create a new project and identifying one primary keyword for each page of content to be placed online. Then when the content is created, it can be easily optimized for a particular keyword phrase. You know, I would say here is the data that I would track for each keyword, and here it goes. Number one, I would I would do local search volume, the number of searches the keyword is getting from your locality. Number two, global search volume, the number of searches the keyword is getting globally. And number three, keyword difficulty, the percentage of difficulty, the lower the percentage, the easier it will be to rank in search engines for this phrase. The ideal keyword phrase considers these factors and will be indicated by green shading across all three rows or at least two deem most important for a particular project and will also illustrate the intention of the searcher. Therefore, it is perfectly described being the content that you've produced and will be promoting. So you'll see this color coloration. I mean, you've got to add some type of a coloration in order for you to be able to visually look at it and be able to identify on your own. So that's something that you've got to make up that I just kind of use as an example here in my uh, podcast here. So my question now to you as I you know wrap this up is what other suggestions do you have to discover the right keywords for your content marketing efforts. Please share them in the contents, I mean comments, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, I'd love to hear what they are and so would uh, some of the listeners. I appreciate your uh, listening to this program and your efforts in providing any comments that you do. And please uh, share, like with your uh, social networks and subscribe to the show. Have a great week now. Bye-bye.